Hello! In the previous video, we discussed the concept of conditional probability. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use relative frequency to calculate conditional probabilities. This is a very useful technique we will use throughout the course, but this is just a short video meant to introduce you to this concept. So let's look at an example. Suppose we have a population of 1000 people and we are considering a certain disease or condition within this population. This table breaks down these 1000 people by whether they have the disease or not and whether they are a man or a woman. For example, here we see that there are 200 men who have the disease and 300 men who do not have the disease. Meanwhile, 100 women have the disease and 400 do not. Now I have a few questions for you. We pick a random person from this population and want to know what is the probability that the person has the disease. Let's call this event D. I'd also like to know the probability that the randomly chosen person is a man. Event M. Then, what is the probability that the person has the disease given that he is a man? That is, what is probability of D given M? Lastly, I want you to find out the probability of M and D, that is, the probability that the person is a man and also has the disease. Now would be a good time to pause this video and figure out the answers to these four questions, which we will go over shortly. Okay, let's answer these questions. Question 1 is simple. These people here are the ones who have the disease, both men and women. So we just divide 300 by 1000 to get a probability of 0.3 for event D. Now, the probability that the person is a man deals with this column. So you add 200 and 300 to get 500, then divide that by 1000, and the probability of M is just 0.5. Now, let's deal with the conditional probability. Given that the person is a man, what is the probability that he has the disease? Well, we are only dealing with the left-hand column, so it is out of 500 people. 200 of the men have the disease, so it is 200 divided by 500, which is 0.4. So, finding conditional probability is very easy when working with organized tables such as this one. Lastly, what is the probability of event M and D? So, we want to know the probability that the chosen person is a man and has the disease. From 1,000 people, our table shows us that 200 men have the disease. So, our probability here is 200 divided by 1,000 or 0.2. In the previous video, I gave you a formula for conditional probability. In this case, the formula would be the probability of D given M is just the probability of D and M divided by the probability of M. Let's check to see if the formula is valid here. As we saw, the probability of D and M, or M and D, is just 0.2, and the probability of M is just 0 0.5. 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.5 is just 0.4, which matches the value we determined earlier in this video. My point here is that, when we look at tables like this, conditional probabilities become much simpler and more intuitive. In fact, we can use this concept in solving many problems in real-life scenarios. It is much easier to use relative frequency using actual numbers to determine conditional probabilities and we will revisit this concept as we go throughout the course. Thank you for watching.